What's up guys? I'm back with another one of these. I was gonna make the second part my last one and I sort of kind of talked about this but I realized I left something out and again I sort of kind of talked about it but I didn't cover it in the detail that I really feel it deserved. So I feel the need to kind of say what I want and if nothing else from what I said okay Okay, there's two things I want to cover. One, EA. I just got done um, reacting. Because I'm recording this like damn near a week after I recorded those other ones. I'm just releasing them rather late. Because like, I want to release these all at the same time. Like they're all around the same time. But, I just got done recording those fifa you know trailers and stuff like that those three fifa trailers and over and over i was reminded of frostbite and it's supposed to help the dynamics the mechanics make everything move better the game is supposed to be more realistic more realistic action and movements and we don't have that in 2k we don't have any system like that 2k has kind of made their own and that's why I feel like 2K has to get to work with someone like Frostbite. You know, try to come up with an engine that's that good to where you can kind of get real life animations. Because I be seeing dudes just warp through dudes and that's, that's not going to work for me. I, I don't like that. Alright, let's talk about um, the thing that I mainly came here to talk about. And it was about my career. Um, now, my second favorite my career of all time is two, or second favorite 2K of all time, excuse me, is NBA 2K13. My favorite is 2K11. Now, I never played, well, I did play 2K12. I thought it was trash. I actually ended up going back to 2K11 after I played it because I thought it was that trash. I went back to 2K11 and played that for the whole year. I ended up just moving around some of my players to change up the rosters a little bit and just had some fun with it. But I, you know, I kind of did my own little, created a couple of players and just survived off that because 2K11 was just funner to me than, than 2K12. But when I went back, I got sick of playing as my point guard. Um... And so I made a power forward. His name was Angelo Aquebu. I literally just went to the A's on the list of names that it can pronounce. Found Angelo. Went to the A's in the last names and found Aquebu. And said that sounds weird enough and went with it. That was literally my thought process. That sounds crazy enough. Let's go with it. Now, with all that being said, I did all that, right? And, and I had a great time. I was able to go in between my point guard, who was me, you know, Michael Bryson, it was my name. I was able to go between me and, of course, my uh, my power forward, Angelo Aquebu. And that is something that ever since 2k13 while 2k13 is my second favorite and it's actually the only 2k that i've ever won a championship with a my player on um it's just the only one that i've had the patience to do it on while that is the only one it just has one flaw you can only have one player now i don't know how 2k can fix this but i have a couple ideas now a couple of people said why don't we go more offline based with the my career we get like a you know my career becomes more offline based we go back to skill points and then um you know uh, my like my player can be a different option and those could be your dudes that you take to the park now i think that's a good idea but even it and I and I think that's the ultimately best way have my career be separate from my player we should be able to have multiple my players and multiple my careers 
and you have to upgrade them differently. Like my players, you have to upgrade. You can upgrade with VC. You can upgrade any of them with VC, actually. You can get VC for your my career, and you can upgrade it with VC. Don't get it twisted. But your my career, you should be able to have as many players as you want, but have them separate from your online people. Now, if they now if they're not feeling that and they don't want them to be separate, here's what I suggest: let us go back to being able to customize our guys before we start our career. Go back to letting us do that, like you did in two K um two K eleven and two K twelve. You used to let us um, customize our players before we started. Okay. Let us go back. Well, before, you know, while we while we were creating our career, we gave them a name, everything. We were able to do all of that. Let us go back to doing that, even if it's in an online format. And then, if you want to take those guys onto the park... Because if, if that's how you're making it, if you don't want my player and my career to be separate and one has to be outside of my career and one has to be just my career, if you want the same players, if that's how 2K wants to do this, okay, we should be able to, when we click on the My Park, be able to select which player we want to take to My Park. Same with Pro-Am. If we go into Pro-Am, we should be able, and speaking of Pro-Am, I still haven't changed my opinion on that. Just change the name to Crew, okay, because that's what it is, okay. But, anyway, so Crew, I'm not going to call it Pro-Am, because that's some BS, that's some BS name right there, okay. Crew is just a load of B, I mean, Pro-Am is a load of BS, Crew is the real name, okay. Crew, okay, we should be able to choose which player we take in there as well. Because, ever since 2K11... I've wanted to remake Angelo Aquebu and put him on one of these. But the problem is that I always make my point guard first, and if I have my point guard, I can't make my power forward. I've I've had to go all these years without my power forward, and I miss my power forward. And listen, 2K17 is awesome. I love it because you know I love 2K. You know, I've been supporting for 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 a few years here now, and, you know, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've been a big fan of Kobe for the longest, so, you know, the fact that, you know, Kobe is really, like, the center of this game, and I will be buying the Kobe Gold Edition, I want to know... I just hope that it gets, that it gets cleared up, and we have news on that as soon as possible, because here's the thing... I, I want to know how that's going to work. Can I have multiple players? Please, can I have multiple careers without having to change my guy? Okay, I'm sick of changing my my player. Let me have two different people in two different careers. Let me have two different my players. Just let it happen. And again, what I'm thinking is honestly, my career, quit calling it my career. Go back to calling it my player. Or you can get rid of my player and just go back to calling it my career. Whatever you want to call it. Or just keep it as my career and get rid of my player. Or go back to the original call it my player and get rid of the my career thing. Whatever you want to do. We create our guys in there. We upgrade them and then we can take them to the park. Whatever whatever y'all think is the best idea. Whatever y'all think is the best idea. Okay. Just let me know. Because, I mean, I'd be happy to agree with y'all. But we, you gotta let the community, you gotta let us know what's going on, 2K. Like, this is, this is getting a little out of hand. I wanna know, and I wanna know as soon as possible. Because, here's the thing. I, you know what? I don't even got to know as soon as possible. Let's just put it this way. I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed, 2K. Don't disappoint me. Make this game good. Make me be able to have two different uh, careers. You know, because I'm buying FIFA. And I'm going to be making FIFA videos. 
without a doubt, because FIFA is getting their new My Career, and it's looking dope. And it's the first year that it's really an in-depth career mode. So you know that I have to, I have to do a series on YouTube with that. But with that being said, while I do a, while I do a series with that, I wanted to do a series with 2K, but do I even bother? If I can't have multiple players, do I even really bother, like... Do I even really play my career? Will I be too busy with FIFA to care about 2K's career mode? And at that point, 2K will literally just turn into, like, a little bit of my team and some quick-ranked matches. That's literally what's going to turn into. And I just, I just don't want it. Because that's what, this, that's what these past two years turned into for me. I played a lot of my career, and then I got bored of my point guard. Couldn't make anybody else. And was like, well, I guess this is going to just do what it does. And I don't really like my team all that much. I liked it back in 2K13, but I haven't really liked it since. It was just simpler. I don't like all the weird like colors and different things they've done with it now. All the different types of cards. It's just kind of strange to me. I just don't really like it as much. But I did all that, you know. I played a little bit of my team. But it really just turned into online quick ranked matches. That's that's literally what this game turned into is a bunch of online quick ranked matches. And I don't want 2K17 from the jump to be a bunch of online quick rank matches for me. That doesn't sound fun. That sounds boring. I don't want to do that. Especially, you know, if it's commemorating Kobe's career. Tim Duncan's career at that because Tim Duncan just retired. So now, you know, we have to, you know, do the whole Tim Duncan thing. You know, we just had we just had two all-time greats retire. And if this game is ass, this is gonna really, really hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot of people. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. I just just kind of venting a little bit about 2K, giving my thoughts on the whole situation. Really just kind of clearing the air. And clearing up some of the things that I said. But that's probably the most important thing to me. Because listen, I was talking about jump shots. I was talking about, um, you know, things that people were exposing. Things that people, you know, um, you know, speed boosting. All types of glitches. I talked about a lot of things. You know, um, I'm forgetting the word that I was going to use. But... You know, I, I talked about a lot of things in the other wish list. This one was more just about what I really cared about. And that's just being able to enjoy my my careers, man. And being able to have multiple. I haven't been able to have multiple my careers in pretty much four years. Four or five years. And that, that shouldn't be the case. You know, that shouldn't be the case. Do better, 2K. That's all I'm going to say. Just, just do better with that. Anyway, y'all. Can't leave on a miss, right? You already know we get buckets. Anyway, guys. That's all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Michael Bryson underscore. And until next time, guys. Peace.